So this is Grossy. It's a web app you run yourself. Uh, it also has a Windows desktop application, I believe. Um, and it's currently showing all the stuff, all the groceries that we have in stock. It knows what we have in stock because I told it what we have in stock. Normally, uh, just before we go grocery shopping or I place a grocery order, uh, I just go through and I hit the red button and just say, oh, we've got no Nutrigram, we've got two rice milks or whatever. And then we have minimum quantities specified for each of those. So we need you know, three rice milks to get us through the week. We need one Nutrigram, we need a box of Coke cans or whatever. And then we go to the shopping list and we say, add everything that we need to buy. And it does that. And that works relatively well. It's a little bit laborious, but I'd like something a little bit more automated. Um, people have done stuff with like scales for weighing dry goods and, and cameras to read barcodes and stuff like stuck to your fridge. Uh, the ergonomics of all these things aren't great. They're always very fiddly. You have to like get the alignment perfect and the camera and the lighting. And if it's, you know, it's all a bit of a fiddle. Um, so I went on eBay and I bought a, uh, a IS 5700DB barcode scanner for, for 60 Australian dollars. And then I, I bolted a, um, an ESP8, uh, ESP32 widget to the top with a little built-in screen. It's got a 18650 battery built in, so it's got lots of battery life, um, and it's got a USB-B port in the bottom. It's a bit of a throwback. Um, and so I, I bolted this ESP to the top. I had a poke around on the circuit board inside and found the right volts and signal and stuff to read the uh, barcode number that comes out of the scanner. So this is a dedicated, dedicated barcode scanner. So it's got built-in illumination and laser scanner and everything. Really, really uh, robust at reading all kinds of 2D barcodes and 1D barcodes, as I'll show in a sec. Uh, so it can read QR codes and loads of other weird, like, Brazilian uh, passport codes and stuff. Like, it, it does everything. Um, and so you can see here we've got two packs of sliced cheese in stock. And so if I scan this twice, then I refresh the page to update the display and now we've got four packs of sliced cheese in stock so i've told it that this pack of of waterproof extra extra large elastoplast sterile bandages that barcode is sliced cheese and i've just been using that for a test and um yeah so this on the top there is talking directly to grossy it has wi-fi built in and it's talking via uh, ttl uart to the the board inside there and so it it intercepts the signal from the barcode scanner picks up and based on what mode it's in, so it's in add or uh, subtract or zero, uh, based on what mode it's in, it changes the count of what grocery has in stock. So you, you can imagine uh, you're unpacking your groceries and you just go beep, 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 one thing. And you see, like it, <laughs> these things and this whole nerd stuff really hinges on the little details of the usability. Like you'll notice it projects a line, right? So you, you have this feedback. You're not like uh, trying to line it up. Like people who've made barcode, they've been making barcode scanners for a while, right? They're pretty good at it. They're quick, um, they're responsive, they're reliable, they're not sensitive to lighting conditions, they're not sensitive to focus. Um, this is really the only way to read a barcode. Any, everything else is a bit of a faff. Um, and so, uh, Maybe I will use it like in the way that Grossi intends to be used where you, you like, okay, I'm going to put it into subtraction mode and then because I've finished a box of oat milk, I'll beep the label before I put it in the bin and then it will have, I'll always have a, an accurate count of what's in stock in Grossi. Probably won't bother to do that. I'll probably just do the same thing that I normally do and just put it into zero mode and then beep the barcodes to zero out the counts for the stuff that we don't have and we need to buy. Um, so I've got, uh, but now we've only got two slices, two packs of sliced cheese in the fridge. So one, two, three, four. And so um, what I'll probably end up doing is uh, sticking some, like a, a bit of paper with some printed out barcodes on the inside of the pantry. Uh, and just to zero out the stuff that we might completely run out of before we order some more. But um, yeah, that works pretty well. Um, now that I've got everything proven out, I uh, currently am using the, the, the pushing in the screen thing to change the um, operation mode. Don't like that at all. Um, 
mainly because it involves reaching up here and pressing on the screen, which is like pressing on a screen, that doesn't feel great. Um, what I'll probably do is put a little three position switch on the side here. And so up will be add, middle will be zero and bottom will be subtract or something like that. Something that doesn't involve this awkward ergonomics. Or maybe, maybe I will just have a button that does the toggling through the modes. I don't know. I'll experiment. But um, yeah, that was a fun, fun one day project. And I look forward to start using it. Okay, bye-bye.